Hello, it's Ruth Gowdy and I'm here for Kiln Farm Nursery to tell you how to plant a bare root tree. We sell lots of bare root trees uh, over the winter. Um, they become dormant so they don't take up the sap and so you can dig them up and replant them without them even knowing. So this is a really great way of uh, planting a tree and it's also more economical because they work out a lot cheaper and more environmentally friendly because you're, they're not being grown in containers and in plastic pots. So first of all you have to dig a hole. I've got the lovely Paul to dig me a hole. He's also cut the grass from around and about so there's not um, it, the tree is not competing with other things and basically you need the hole to be deep enough so that when you put it in the where the top roots are is level with the top of the ground. You don't want to plant it any deeper than that because that will actually cause the tree to die. So once you've worked out how deep the hole needs to be, then it's time to put the stake in. If you were planting a container grown tree, you would put the stake in afterwards, otherwise it might harm the roots. By putting the stake in first on a bare root tree, you can then put the tree inside and make sure that the roots go around the stake. Once you've put the stake in the hole, you can just slightly line the hole with a little bit of compost you can use anything like a soil improver, rose tree shrub compost, um, anything that will just line the hole and be loose, some leaf mold for instance. So once you've put that compost in and a nice coating of bone meal, what's gonna happen is that makes it easier for the roots to take a hold. Sometimes if you've dug a hole, the earth is very compacted and hard. And so that will feed the roots and help it settle in. So now it's time to plant the tree. So just settle it in the hole nicely and then fill back with the soil that you took out of the hole. And then you're gonna heal it in quite hard actually because you want to make sure that that soil gets compacted down again um, and fully around the roots. If you notice, the stake is always shorter than the first branches here. Um, this is important because you don't want it to be rubbing on those branches so that really determines the maximum height of your stake and the next thing to do is to put your tie on so um, you can use one of these ties that you can buy from the garden centre or if you're trying to be environmentally friendly and recycle you can use an old pair of ties it works just as well um, but what you do when you tie, what you're doing is you're tying in a figure of eight because it's going to hold the tree away from the stake while also getting the support of the stake. So the stake's holding the tree against the wind, but by having something between the two of them, it's going to stop them rubbing and, and rub off any bark and cause disease. I'm just topping it up a little bit more and I'll probably top it up a little bit more with some compost as well and another handful of bone meal because it won't do any harm. And, and then, most importantly, water. A bit of an old watering can, one of the favourites here. But then give your tree a full watering can of water. You don't want to leave it dry. Um, and often in spring it will be quite dry, so make sure you keep watering and this summer as well. So when you're thinking about watering your pots and tubs in your garden, give your tree a full bucket full because August is often the time where they're really struggling. So make sure you keep watering. So finally, when that water is soaked away, the last thing you need to do is put mulch on the top. So that's gonna repress the weeds and very importantly, hold moisture in. And don't forget to label your tree really important we actually also have keep a diary of when we plant the trees and what they were and this one is a cherry so it should be flowering beautifully this spring uh, you also if you've got fruit tree and you're planting fruit trees as long as you've got um, the blossom this year that can be pollinated you should have fruit this september so enjoy your tree <laughs>